Hi, love you. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of makeup. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that we are good with timing because mama likes to talk, as you know. I probably should have prepared a little bit better. Come on, guys. We could do better than that. I love you. Hope you guys are having a beautiful Gorishwa day. Um, I did a little question about where uh, what you guys want me to do if you want me to do skin or eyes and at this point it was literally kind of like right down the center so i'm gonna do um uh, a quick skin first and then we'll do a quick eyes so we might as well just go for it hi love you very quickly starting of course with my neutralizing primer which is my favorite thing in the world to start my makeup with because it not only brightens, um, it also gives you that bulletproof finish. So no matter what you're doing on your skin, it's gonna look amazwa and it's gonna last all day long. So I'm putting that kind of starting in the center of the face. I'm really like diving in quick, okay? So I apologize if you're like, hello, where's my greeting? Where's all that good stuff? I really wanna make sure Hold on, I'm just also making sure that I'm gonna keep this. I wanna keep this to 15 minutes. And you know what happens, kiddos, when we talk, it can get a little bit longer. Not your fault, my fault, because I am the talkative one up in here. Okay, so I love you. So I started with that primer. I put it in the center of the face. I am now going to use my quick fix. Look at that. I've been digging in. I'm like hanging on for dear life with this foundation because I love it so much. I'm really only putting it, I know it's like I said, I'm only putting it kind of where I need it, but really at the end of the day, I'm not gonna, there have been times, I'm not gonna lie, when life has been crazy, where I've really had to kind of go all over and almost paint my entire face with it because my skin is, was so crazy. But right now, at this point in time, I don't wanna jinx it. You know when you're like, right now my skin looks so good, and then you wake up tomorrow, the next day with like 789,000 pimples, and you're like, dang. Um, so I am very careful with myself, but, um, so basically, I'm just kind of putting the foundation where I need it and really just creating um, sort of an even base, even though I like the center of the face to be brighter and more luminous and more awake. That circle of light is the trick of really looking awake and fresh, even on those days where you are not, um, which is most days for me and I'm sure for you. So just blending in carefully. I had, um, of course, a little bit of moisturizer on from this morning, but really these products together are so creamy and delicious. And I like to take it across the lids, of course. And then I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit of like blush highlight and contour. I wanna do that really quick because I like to do blush, highlight, and contour all together. Um, I think to me that is really what the complexion is all about. Now, if I was just gonna go like running around, I could certainly just go like put a little mascara, some gloss, and call it a day because it's like at least my skin is even and bright and fresh and hydrated looking, which is really, really important to me. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of my Quick Fix Foundation in Rich, which is my darkest. And um, also I'm going to make darker shades, which we are working on at the moment, so. That is good because we are really trying to make everybody happy because I like everyone to be happy. It's something that I do. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit of that creamy stick. First, I'm going to start behind the ear just like so and kind of create that jawline that I am really... <laughs> I don't want to say I'm, I'm not going to say anything negative because we're not going to play that game right now. Even though, in all honesty, if I count all the times where I have my chin down like this and I'm like really rocking that tech neck, I am not happy about that, guys. But it is what it is. It's like I have to remember we have to keep everything up. You know what I'm saying? Stuff is like, when I think about the fact that I'm going to be 48, 
When I think about the fact that I'm going to be 48 in a minute, it really freaks me out. Like, I do not remember. I remember being like, 48? What the heck? That's old. <laughs> and I don't feel old. Like, that's the thing that freaks me out. I'm like, I feel like I'm 22. Anyway, I don't know, but whatever. So the point is, okay, so still taking that dark, darker foundation and just really contouring right here. As you can see, we did the hollows. We did the jawline. We did the temple. And then, of course, I'm really going to go in, of course, in this hairline and really work that bronzy look. Again, bringing that brightness to the center of the face. Age is just a number, I know, and I love you guys. You know, you know, I'm just playing. It is true. It's just a number, and it's also the way we feel, which is really, really important. And I think if you're taking care of yourself, if you're living with a positive energy attitude, which is what I always love to do, as you know, positivity preacher all the way, then this is really, um, you know, it really is just how you are going to um, put that energy into the world and you're going to feel beautiful inside and out. All right, so there we go. So you see how we've got that contour. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my cream blush, a peachy cream blush, just like that. Dark circles coming up. I'm going to be working on that in just a second. Hold on. I'm trying to keep it here. Yes, we've got a few minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of this peachy, creamy texture. And while I love powders, you know, I love working with all different kinds of textures. I like, you know, I've always really been... Um, you know, all about the skin and all about looking fresh and looking young and adding those creamy textures and then perhaps going in with corresponding shades on top to really, you know, set it, make it bulletproof, make it last all day, and then just kind of work those textures together. Absolutely, you can do that. But I'm starting with the creams first and adding that. Okay, so as you can see, we're really kind of building this face and creating that beautiful, healthy glow. All right, I'm gonna use actually my dark circle corrector now to really brighten here, lift the face and create that healthy glow. So this is the dark circle corrector and you twist it up and you're gonna get the product in. I love using this dark circle corrector because you really are able to get the product exactly where you want it which is where I like to create that brightness in the center of the face, a little bit in between the eyebrows. You can even, I like to take a little bit in between my eyes, just like that, but I have to be careful because that's where I get a lot of wrinkling, like, because of that. So the more product you put there, and that's why the dark circle corrector is so great because it is so thin. Why is it so dark? Does that look dark to you guys? I, come on, work with me, fellas. Okay, and then I even like to take a little tiny bit, whatever's left over. I don't want to use too much, but take a little bit and put it right out there. Now, absolutely, positively, I could use my fingers, um, but sometimes I do like to use a brush. Why is it dark? Stop. If you go to YouTube, it's not dark. I'm just letting you know. I don't know what's going on. I'm also streaming this live on YouTube. If you are wondering, you would like to talk about a little bit of, hi self, a little bit of, um, what do you call it, YouTube action. I'm gonna use fingers. I'm gonna use fingers because um, I wanna show you that you don't necessarily need, um, you know, sponges, blenders, tools. Um, I have always been a fan of using fingers because I love the way it feels and really works into the skin. That said, you absolutely can use anything you want, but I just wanna show you that you don't have to. And as a matter of fact, sometimes when you really press it in, skin to skin, 
you can get a really good look. I, I'm so sorry. I don't know why this is so dark. And I also don't know why people are screaming downstairs. Well, maybe because they're kids and that's what we do, right? We scream. <laughs> All right, so we're hanging in there. We've got a couple of more minutes, but I wanted to just show you, because someone was talking about dark circles. Whatever's left over, even just blend over the lids. And look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So that's that. So you've got your complexion. You've got that um, healthy glow, the brightness around the eyes. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of blush. So we have that cream blush, which I, again, I love. But if you are a fan of powder blush, which I like too, I'm going to take a little bit of this blush, this peachy blush, and I'm going to just kind of Pat it on gently, smiling, smiling. Not getting rid of that glow. You wanna sort of keep that healthy glow to the skin. So I didn't add, as you know, a ton of powder. There is one final step that we are going to add to this complexion party. And if you don't know, now you know. RuPaul, RuPaul collection, limited edition limited edition face defender if you don't know what my face defender is this is my face defender that rupaul loves and i love rupaul so all is well with the world because hello doesn't get better look how gorgeous whoopsie that was the plastic so you can see and you can feel the texture of this amazing product and then it comes with this beautiful sponge which you take out of there. And then what I'm gonna do is I am, as you know, I'm not a fan of yucky, heavy, thick, translucent powders. I'm just gonna take it and put it underneath my eyes, set that dark circle corrector, just like so, and a little bit in between the eyebrows. But again, we like to keep the skin looking fresh and healthy, and that's why Face Defender is your best friend. Hello, hello, love you, love you. I like to put it here too in the laugh lines. Where I have a lot of wrinkling, which again, tends to be the laugh lines in between the eyebrows, I will sometimes take a little bit of a brush, like a small brush like this, and even just take that face defender and go in. I will do a whole tutorial about the face defender and all the other millions of amazing ways you can use it. You can even use it on your lips around the mouth to keep lipstick from traveling. On the lids, you can use it for a great eyeshadow base, make it bulletproof all day. And that's it. So there is our complexion look. Again, very super, super easy. Everything done with beautiful, gorgeous creams. So everything looks really healthy and glowy. Um, I'm gonna stop this and I am gonna do my eyes next. Um, but again, I wanted to keep this under 15 minutes because I did want to put it up on IGTV. Um, but yes, I love you. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. Um, again, what we've got here is complexion, we've got brightening, we've got some contouring with creams, we've got some blush, everything that's just gonna make your skin look even and fresh and gorgeous. And now we're gonna do some eyes. So I love you. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay gorgeous and be a positivity preacher. You know we need you for all that loving. Okay, I'm going to go and then I'm coming back. Okay, love you, bye. Oh, you can stay. You can stay because you're YouTube, and that's how YouTube rolls, and I love you. Okay, now, or should I hang up and come back? Oh, let's just keep going. Okay, saving this, sharing this. It's a lot, I know, guys, this whole internet situation with so much uh, information going on in so many different ways to just keep on keeping on, but... Thank you for bearing with me. I'm trying to figure it out, and it ain't always easy. Trust me. You know. I know. We all know. It's a little cray. Um, okay. So, hold, please. Did I save that? Let's just pray 
to Jesus that that was saved. What does that say? Yes. Thank you, God. God is good. Okay. All right, let's do it. Now we're going to go live and do some eyes with some shadow sticks because that's what we love. I love you guys. You're like my little buddies here, hanging tight, making it happen. Okay, hold, hold, hold. Standing by, we're gonna do this again. Cancel. All right. Love you guys. I don't know how you have the patience to do it all. Me neither. No, I love it. I really do. I love all of it. Hi, love you. Okay, so we did the complexion. Now we're gonna do some eyes. I'm gonna keep it totally, totally easy today because um, I just want something fresh and just awake. Um, I'm gonna start by saying that I don't have anything in my eyebrows. So I like to do my eyes first. So we're gonna do that first. We're gonna try to do like a quick eye that's just fast and fun and just makes you look awake. I'm gonna start with one of my shadow sticks, of course. Um, I'm gonna start with my burnished bronze. It's my go-to. It's fast, it's easy. It gives you just enough color um, and definition. And I like to use it as a halo all around my eye, just like so. So this is basically um, um, your eye primer, your eyeshadow, your smudgy liner, your brushes all in one. I like to use these also as shadow base. That said, you certainly could just use it just like so. Look how easy that is. I mean, done. So I like to use it on the top and the bottom. Just one halo of beautiful, gorgeous color like so and because my eyes because my face is completely crooked anyway the jaw is crooked the eyes are two different sizes whatever it is what it is let's move on okay um i like to really sort of create the shape of the eye that i want with them which is really easy because it's literally like a crayon which is what i love um but just kind of taking it and going all around just past the crease that will create that lifted look. And again, underneath. All right, so let's just grab an eyeshadow quick because again, I'm trying to do this super fast. What's this? We've got Mallywood. Oh yes, but my daughters have eaten that one alive. Not really eaten. You know what I mean. Um, let's take a, ugh, my kids, I love you kids, but you play with my makeup and I don't know where everything is. Okay, I'm just gonna use Muted Muse. I'm not saying just Muted Muse, like it's like nothing, but I feel like I do use it a lot, but it also is because it's great and it's easy. I'm gonna use Fancy. It's right here. I'm gonna use Fancy and I'm gonna use it again. You know how I like to do, I just go on the edge of the shadow stick because I really do like the color of the shadow stick. Um, but I like to soften it on the edges, just like so. Sometimes I use my fingers and sometimes I just use the brush. And then that gives you that beautiful soft look. Where is that eyeshadow palette? Oh, y'all are killing me. All right, this is an older palette that I have, um, a smoky eye kit. It's called uh, Midtown Merlot, so it's like a dark purple. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the dark shade, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna put that like so. And I take it, and I just kind of, again, draw that line. I will be blending it out, but that is a really great way to just lift and open up the eye like so. And then you just take your brush and just kind of blend it out. It's just super duper. Sorry, okay. So now, focusing on that outer half of the eye like that to really kind of pull the eye out. Got a little darker than I imagined, but you know what? It's just makeup, we're fine. Okay, so again, blow it out like so. 